Smoking marijuana does not cause cancer. Dr. Donald Taskin has proven this point, but there's still safer ways to use marijuana than smoking it. School days, school days, dear old golden rule days. Reading and writing and arithmetic, taught to the tune of a hickory stick. You were my girl in Calico, and I was your silly bashful bow. Today we're going to talk about vaporizing. What the vaporizer does, it works like a petroleum cracker. We've all seen oil refineries where we have those tall columns with the little fire burning at the top. That's a cracker. What they do is they heat petroleum oil up and at different temperatures you can pull off different vapors to produce different products. What we do with the vaporizer is the same thing. The cannabinoids that we use from a medical standpoint are actually an oil. When you burn the leaf, you're actually burning all the cannabinoids at once, and again, they're vaporizing, but they're vaporizing in a whirlwind of smoke and soot and different carcinogens that develop through the combustion process. By using the vaporizer, we eliminate what they call carcinogens. First thing you want to do is go ahead and turn it on. Basically, we turn it all the way around to its fullest degree and then back one fourth. Stick the medical grade marijuana into the grinder. And the reason we're grinding it is because of the way the vaporizer works, it's hot air blowing over the cannabis. More of the surface area we expose to the hot air going across it, the more vapor it will produce. So what we're doing with the grinder here is just actually producing more surface area. And that's ready to be put into the vaporizer. To load your vaporizer, use it sort of like a vacuum cleaner and draw in after you grind it up. As you see it goes in there, then I use a pen just to tap it in a little bit. Different people use wooden pencils, things of that nature. And as you see it's now loaded, we then put it on the vaporizer. It takes approximately three minutes for this to get to the right temperature. But basically what you would do is just like with a, any type of of smoking marijuana, everything else is the same. You take a very light uh, hit or draw to make it work. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but that's a vapor, that's not smoke. That's the difference. You don't feel it. There's no heavy carbons involved in this or no carcinogen. And from a medical standpoint, this is definitely a lot safer than smoking and should be the number one means of administration for people using medical marijuana. By dialing in and starting off at a lower temperature, you start to vaporize or gasify the lighter of the cannabinoids. There's approximately 60 that we work with. As you turn it up, you increase the amount of cannabinoids you're going to get vaporizing. Now, when it comes to the lighter cannabinoids, it turns out the glaucoma MS patients prefer the earlier lighter vapor. Then the later on vapor right before combustion is more for your pain relief. As you notice in the beginning, the marijuana always starts out to be a green in color. And what will happen while you vaporize it, it will go from a green to a light brown to a dark brown. Now patients who are using it for MS, glaucoma, things of this nature, their end result will be a light brown color. People who are using it for a pain relief, it will be a dark brown color. Um, on the different quality of, of medical grade marijuana that you put into the vaporizer, um, even very low end will exactly be the same as very high end. It's just the sheer amount of vapor that's produced will be the only difference. One of the other interesting sidelines about a vaporizer is you don't lose anything. And the way the thing is actually designed, as the vapors cool off, they condense and come back again. So they stay right in here. Right now, we've been leaving this on the whole time I've been recording and it doesn't increase temperature or anything, and it just keeps the vapor in the initial first three inches of the device. So at any time while I'm at home or at the office or wherever that I need to use medical marijuana, you can actually leave this plugged in with medical grade cannabis vaporizing in it. Over time, it'll leak out, but very it'll be there all day. I could come back in three hours and still go like this. still has a vapor. And again, that's not a smoke, that's a gas. Uh, initially, the way the vaporizer tastes, it's a light, hashy, minty type of taste at the lower ends. The higher you turn it up, 
the heavier the taste becomes and it almost gets to the point of a taste, um, I would say similar to popcorn in, in, in taste. At that point, you're getting right at the edge of combustion. The utilization of the marijuana is twofold when you use a vaporizer also. First, you get the uh, availabilities of the lighter cannabinoids through vaporization, then we save all the leftover and we use that for cooking and that's a very narcotic-y type of baked good, as in for pain relief and things of that nature. Patients in San Francisco who would wake up at 3 in the morning uh, with bone marrow cancer pain, uh, they couldn't make it through the night, they would actually smoke this product and they called it 3 in the morning pot. Um, if you smoke it 3 in the morning, it'll knock your butt right back out again. When you smoke marijuana, you don't realize, but your body is actually activating all these antibodies to fight the carcinogens that are coming into your system and that is part of that intoxicating feeling you have is basically you're poisoning yourself and your body's fighting back to fight them off that's missing when you use a vaporizer a lot of people who have smoked medical marijuana say that it's missing something and basically what it's missing is the attack on your body of all the carcinogens which has your body release all these antibodies to fight back and you actually you feel that physically in your system. As an organization, patients without time would like to see patients using the most ethical and safe methods of using marijuana. Smoking any substance is not good for us and so we've got to remember that. And hurry back to school and hurry